My name is uh, Aditya Bhaskara and I'm a new assistant professor at the School of Computing. My name is Ladislav Kavan and I'm an assistant professor in the School of Computing. So I'm Jason Weezy, I'm an assistant professor here at the University of Utah in the School of Computing. I got my PhD in computer science at Princeton University. After that, I worked at Google for, for two years and then I joined the School of Computing. I went to do my PhD at the Czech Technical University in Prague. I got my a first job in the U.S. that was in the video game studio here in downtown Salt Lake City. I went to Carnegie Mellon University uh, to get my PhD in human-computer interaction, and then I came here. So my research area is computer graphics and specifically physics-based simulation. How I got there is that I was always, since I was little, I was interested in the human body. And that led me to physics-based animation, so to understand how the forces inside the body um, act. So in general, human-computer interaction research is about looking at how people and technology sort of come together. Specifically, the research that I do is focused on personal data and looking at um, this idea of personal data from the, the perspective of an individual user rather than from the perspective of a company. So my research is in the area of theoretical computer science. This is the aspect of computer science where you look at fundamental problems and you ask how efficiently you can solve them. And uh, my focus in particular is on problems in this area called machine learning, like what kind of concepts can you learn and how efficiently you can learn them. I was a little kid when I got my first computer, I think I was like a six-year-old, and I was tantalized by the possibilities you can do with it. My interest in computers and computing uh, started when I was in school. I started out by programming as I guess most people do and what interested me the most was in some sense the ideas that underlie computing. For as long as I can remember we've always had a personal computer in the house. You know we would load it up with a floppy disk and you know memorize the command prompt command so that we could start our games as kids. And then I asked my dad like what are the what are the limits like where, where where you cannot draw it anymore? And he told me you can do anything. I was like, really? Can you do like a soccer game? That that seemed impossible back in the day. I was like, yep, you can do anything. So I was like immediately captivated. Like, okay, I guess you can do almost anything with a computer. So let's just try doing it. Teaching is actually, I would say, the main reason that I. Uh, ultimately chose to become a professor. You get to teach students and share your knowledge and sort of hopefully inspire and bring forward um, this new new wave, this new generation of, of students who are going to do great things. What I really like about teaching is basically learning. I, I remember my own learning experience. I was always excited about this aha moment when I like actually realized how things work. It's always uh, fun to see people from very different backgrounds and uh, try to tell them how to reason about things. Because sometimes you just need a little bit of a nudge and then they get their own aha moment and that makes me very happy if I can help them basically to learn something. It's this process of how to think about a specific problem that is core to teaching. And uh, I find that, I mean, you get immense satisfaction if you can kind of impart that. The School of Computing at the University of Utah seemed like an extremely friendly place. People were completely down to earth. There were some really good researchers doing excellent work and uh, I realized that I could fit in very well and it suited my personality the best. Almost all of the pioneering work in computer graphics has been done here at Utah. So for a computer graphics people, this is kind of like the mecca where this all started. The School of Computing historically actually has a really great history of the beginnings of human-computer interactions. And so it was actually really exciting to be sort of at the place where a lot of this early work happened. But once I came here, I realized that this was really like, uh, I felt it was like a well-kept secret. The best thing I like here is the proximity of nature, the mountains, that in the last 30 minutes you can be in beautiful, wild nature, which I really enjoy, it really lifts my spirit. <laughs> I enjoy the outdoors and this is an exciting place to be if you're into all kinds of hiking or, or any kind of snow sports. When I first came for my interview, uh, even before I landed, I was on the plane and, you know, somebody sitting in the seat next to me was asking me why I was coming and when I said I was coming for an interview, they said, oh, I'm sure you'll do great and you'll love it here. You know, they were right. The, the views are wonderful, the people are very friendly. 
especially mathematicians and theoretical people, they like going out for strolls and thinking about things when they're walking. 